Rocco Fit. Today we're going to be baking sesame seed crackers. Now these are a great snack. I've already made some up here so I can show you them ahead of time. These are great for spreading nut butters on, for putting, um, using for dips, or just having them on their very own. So let's get started. Now if you're not a great baker, hang in there. I'm not uh, the best baker either and these turned out fantastic even the first time I made them. The best thing is you can make up quite a few and they'll last you for the week. So what do you need? The ingredients are simple. Sesame seeds, ground almonds or almond flour, olive oil, a couple of eggs and some salt. In terms of equipment, you just need a baking sheet, parchment paper, which I didn't even know what that was. That shows you how much I have baked in the past, but I do know what it is now. You're going to need something to roll with. I didn't have a roller, so I'm just going to use a glass to roll it out and that works out fine. And then you need a mixing bowl. So what I've done is I've already started um, this just to save us on time. So you're going to add three cups of the almond flour, one cup of sesame seeds, and then the salt, and then I mix the dry ingredients together just really lightly, and then I add two eggs and the olive oil. Now some people whisk the eggs ahead of time. I'm a lazy baker, and so I just crack the eggs in right away, and that they worked out absolutely fine. So what you're going to do is you're going to mix all those ingredients together. I've already got them here, so you can see. And you're gonna have to get your hands in a little bit. Everything's gonna stick really well. Now if you find you need a bit more um, liquid, I actually surprisingly found it was fine, but it'll probably just depend on the size, size of the egg. So if the eggs are built on the small side, just add one extra one. But you should be okay with the two. Just really work in the mixture together. So I'm going to set that aside. I'm going to grab my parchment paper. Go. And you're going to cut off a big enough piece that you can cover the entire baking sheet. Then you're going to take half of your mixture, there we go, and just create a nice kind of mound or ball with that. And then you're going to grab another piece of parchment paper. This stuff's amazing. <laughs> okay, so that's going to go over top. And now what I'm going to do, just flip it the other way. Now what I'm going to do is roll this out, and what you're trying to do is roll it out evenly to about an eighth thin, an eighth of an inch thin. The thinner the better because they'll turn out crispier. Now one thing I did with the, one of the batches is um, for the last couple of minutes I just turned the grill just to give it a nice golden brown, but if you want them on the lighter side then you don't need to do that. There we go. I'm going to keep rolling this out until it's where I want it to be in terms of thickness. There we go. Let me take a sneak peek. Just a little bit more. It's quite a fun recipe to do as well. There we go. Let me set that aside. I think that's great. Yeah, perfect. Okay. Now, what you want to do is you want to take a knife and you're going to cut it into rectangles or the shapes that you would like the crackers to be. Now, take my advice, don't forget this step because I did forget it with one of my batches and then in the end it's impossible to cut because it's all hard. So you, well, you could still eat it obviously, but you don't have the nice, um, nice shapes that you should have. Okay, so let's say you can see I've cut it into nice rectangles. I'm going to put it in the oven 10 to 12 minutes and then have a look to see if they're ready. They might need another minute or so, just depending on how thick that you've rolled it out. In. And there you have it. It's really quick. You know what you're eating because you've made it at home. And it's a great snack. And so enjoy this one.